Hi, welcome back everybody. This is I'm going to say to do that. And in this video, we're going to be going through part one of our first machine learning project. We will be explaining the problem and preparing the data to work on in later videos. So let's get started. So let's imagine we have our own online music store. And when users sign up, we ask them for their age and gender. And based on their profile, we will recommend multiple music albums that they are likely to buy. So in this project, we will use machine learning to make our online store more efficient and increase sales. So we're going to build a model and we're going to feed this model with sample data based on existing customers. We want our model to learn the patterns in our data so we can get it to make predictions. And when a new user signs up, we tell our model that we have a new user with this profile. What kind of music is this user more likely to buy? Our model will say, jazz, rap, or hip hop, for example. And based on that, we can make suggestions to the user. So this is the problem we're gonna solve in this video. So back to the list of steps in a machine learning project. First, we need to import our data. Then we'll prepare the data and clean it. Then we create a model and train it to make predictions. And finally, we evaluate our algorithm to see its accuracy. So let's focus on our first step, importing our data. So we're going to download the CSV file below. This is just some random made up data. So here we have a table with three columns, age, gender, and general. And we have 18 rows. As you can see, the both genders, male and female, are represented by either one or zero. One stands for male and zero, zero stands for female. So in this data set, it says that boys from 20 to 25 years of age uh, like music with the genre of hip hop. And from 26 to 30, they like jazz. And from 31 to 37, they like classical music. As for the women, women from 20 to 25 like dance music. From 26 to 30, like acoustic music. And like the boys from 31 to 35, uh, most females like classical music. So now let's get into the second part of our machine learning project, which is cleaning and preparing the data. By cleaning and preparing the data, I mean by deleting all of the sets that don't have a value. For example, let's say uh, age over here, if you say from age 20, to 25, uh, the genre they like is none, and that is the data that needs to be cleaned up. But there is one thing we need to do. We should split this data set into two different data sets. First two columns, which is the number and the age, would be the first data set, which would be the input. The gender and the general would be the output because they are the last two columns, because they tell you that the genders, either boy or girl, like this gender. So that is the prediction, which is the output. So for example, we're going to tell our model, hey, we have a male. He is 23 years old. What type of music is he more likely to like? And our model is more likely, uh, based on this data set, is going to say hip hop. Then we tell our model and give it new input sets. So for example, we say, hey, we have a new user. He is 21 years old and he is a male. What should the general, or what is the genre of, mu genre of music that he is more likely to like? As you can see over here, we do not have a set for a 21 year old male. So we're gonna train our model to give us predictions. So let's get into the Anaconda project. So first of all, we need to come over here and we need to upload our music.csv. But it is a zip file, so we need to extract it and then get the music.csv output over here. So now let's actually get into the code. So first of all, we're going to import pandas as pp. Import pandas as pp. And then we're going to say uh, music underscore data equal pd.read 
apd.read underscore csv. And then we're going to put inside brackets, we're going to say uh, music.csv, which is the name of our CSV file over here. So after we type in music.csv, uh, we're going to go into our next line. And here we're going to say music underscore data to view our file. And this is what we get. So in our code, this data frame object has a method called drop. So to do that, let's say uh, we're going to have to come over here, music data. And then we're going to have to say uh, music data dot drop. And then we'll put parentheses. So if we come over here and then press on shift plus tab, we see what this is. So if we come over here and press on shift plus tab and then press on the plus button over here, this is what we see. So the uh, these are the properties of the parameters that can pass over here. And the parameter we're going to use in this video is the columns, which is going to be set to a none by default. So we're going to set that to a general. So to do that, we're going to come over here and the inside job, we're going to say, uh, we're going to say columns. And then after columns, we're going to say equal, and then we're going to put this type of brackets and then, and then we're going to put, um, quotation marks, and we're going to say genre. And as you see in the end, you have to have these two over here. Otherwise, of course, your code would not work. Uh, because as the rest of the uh, coding languages, these are very precise. And most of the time, they're case sensitive as well. So in the beginning over here, we're going to say uh, x equal. And this is what we get if we do x. So over here you see age and gender, but you, you don't see the output, which is supposed to be the genre. So this is over here the input. So if your age is 20 and your genre is one, which was a boy, uh, the output, which what was supposed to be over here, you can see it now because we got the genre out of it by doing music data dot drop. So we drop the genre out of this, but that to see the genre to do that, we need to say uh, y equal music underscore data dot drop. And then instead of over here, we're going to do the exact same thing uh, as we did over there. So we're going to take this off and we're going to say um, genre over here. And now this should work if we do this. And if we put Y, now we're going to view only the output, which is genre. So now it works. Hip hop, which is the genre what was supposed to be over here. Now you can only see the general, which is the output without the input. If you want to see the input, you have to do this X. So um, now we separated them into two different data sets. So in the next video, we're going to be creating a model using an algorithm. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. So that's it for this one. See you in the next one. Bye.